everyone, Janet Claire here. Just thought I'd call in and tell you a little bit about my apron. Um, thank you so much for showing an interest in it in the first place. But I absolutely adore wearing my apron. It's become a real part of my creative process. It's very personalised. It's a lovely practical garment to wear. It's very comfortable. We're going to talk a bit about the fit. Um, obviously, it's a very loose fitting garment. It fits where it touches. And it's got lovely big pockets, which are set in the side seams. And the back overlaps. And as you can see, I can really, really spread it out. So it's very, very forgiving. So the fit is really more about the length and how it fits around your neck and your bust. And what we have found is that the ladies who are more well endowed prefer the shoulder straps to be longer so if that's you uh, watch the video that's coming up and I'll give you a little tip for how you can lengthen the shoulders but as you can see it fits quite nicely on me here this is nice and deep here so there doesn't seem to be any issues around this area and again it really opens up so you can be very flexible with your sizing it's not an exact science there are darts which just stops this piece sticking out so if you want to ignore those feel free or alter them it's entirely up to you and as i say i'm not really a dressmaking um expert so if i can do it you can do it in the pattern you have all the sizes from a uk size sort of 8 to 10 up to a uk dress size 32. Well, before we can cut out your apron and start dressmaking, you obviously have to choose your fabric. Now, this again is an open book. You can choose whichever fabric you like. The apron is fully lined, so you need to bear that in mind when you are choosing your fabric as well, because if obviously you choose too thick fabrics, it's gonna get quite bulky quite quickly. The fabric that I am made this apron out of is quilting cotton, so just ordinary, quilting cotton that you might already have in your craft rooms and I've lined it in exactly the same thing. You could line it in a cotton sheet, you could line it in some calico, whatever you use. I've also made an apron in a heavier sort of upholstery type weight, something you might make a cushion out of um, and what happens with that is that it's obviously got more structure in it so the apron sits at a more um, angular fit at the bottom, it doesn't drape as well. And my beautiful original apron that I was wearing in the last uh, little clip um, was made from very expensive linen, which drapes beautifully. But I knew I was going to really invest a lot of time and effort in that garment and that I was going to wear it day in, day out. So it's really up to you. Uh, quilters cotton, any sort of cotton, anything that you've got. It doesn't have to be one piece. You could patchwork it, but it's fully lined. You, want, you do want something that's washable. Um, and just have fun with your choices, really. So again, choose your fabric for how you want it to be. Obviously, if you're gonna wear it in the garden, you want something a bit more hard wearing than if you're gonna wear it in your craft room. So here we are on your uh, cutting table. Hopefully you've got a space that's big enough to lay your cloth out. I mean, it's usually the floor. I'm lucky I've got a big space here, but whatever you've got, you ideally you want the fabric completely flat. Um, and you've decided on your size, but there's a few things you can do now to actually customise the size and make it the best fit for you. Um, I'm not a trained dressmaker, so these are very simple things to do. And obviously an apron is very forgiving. So um, a few simple adjustments I'm going to give you some pointers on and hopefully that will help you get a really good result. The first and easiest thing to do is to change the width of the front because this is cut on the fold, place on fold. You can make the front wider by simply moving your pattern away from that folded edge. And what you need to remember that this is a fold, so it's double. So if you want your front to be two inches wider, then you, this edge needs to be one inch away from the fold because, of course, there's another inch hiding under there. Okay, so make sure you do that. That's really easy to do. And just measure all the way down, pin in place. And then when you get to here, you just extend that curve, that neckline as best you can. The other thing to do if you've got the opposite um, issue is you want the front to be smaller, less wide, then you can fold up piece that you need all the way and put that there or just set 
the pattern off the folded edge and just make sure you have that running parallel all the way down because you really want to keep your fabric on the grain. Okay, so that is widening or lessening the width of the front. The other common um, fit issue that we um, have heard of is that if you are more well endowed, um, then the shoulder straps can feel a bit short. So you can lengthen the length of the shoulder straps. That will help. I'm going to show you how to do that. And also, you can completely ignore this dart or lower it, raise it, increase it. It's entirely up to you. If you want to ignore it, you literally just fold that bit under. Okay. And as you can see, before I cut out the size that I want, I've been highlighting it because there's so many different dotted lines. I've been highlighting it in just a bright green pen. If you want to alter the length of your shoulder strap, it's quite easy to do. As you can see, I've just drawn a line across the shoulder strap. So I've got two separate pieces and this is what they looked like originally. And then all you're going to do is you've got to work out how much longer you want your shoulder strap to be and whether you're going to divide that equally between the back piece, pattern piece and the front pattern piece. If you just do it on the, the front, then it just lowers the neckline um, and, it, you know, it would be better to divide it between the two. So divide how much extra you want between the back and the front and then all you're going to do, I mean, you could pin it there like that but if you were going to make the pattern again what you really should do is to be adding a separate piece of paper in and again the fabric particularly with an apron like this is very very forgiving so you know you can measure that sellotape the pieces in place now i found the end before i started filming <laughs> um, i'm going to do this very quick just so that you get an idea but you are going to take your time and do a beautiful job. So you're just going to sellotape it in place, the other end, and then you just redraw that curve. And then you will cut that out as if nothing ever happened. So you've just got one shape all the way around. Now you're ready to pin your pattern pieces to your fabric and cut them out, seam allowances included. So hopefully you'll get a really satisfactory result from your apron and you'll love your sewing and you'll love wearing your apron even more.